What's up guys? So we are now on our way to Victoria's. Hello. Hello. So we're so excited to visit the dogs and see what their situation is like. Although the dogs from the pound will be rescued tomorrow, they moved it instead of today. So we're still gonna go there to check out the, the farm and the situation of the dogs. So yeah. finally heading to the farm because I think we're gonna need energy before we head there. Already, all ready! ready. <laughs> so we're almost there and I'm super excited to visit the dogs and play with the dogs. So this is where the farm is from the Victoria's Ice Plant. Just go straight and then turn right at the dead end. So welcome to the farm! So this is the entrance, and that's where the dogs are. <laughs> so 4 o'clock is feeding time for the dogs here at the farm. Look at how thin this dog is. So my name is Malu and um, yeah, I'm actually really working and I started my own business but it's just online. Um, it's called the, Meraki PH. Yeah, it's called Follow. Meraki PH. Basically it's really for a zero waste lifestyle yeah. and it's good because we can actually incorporate it here at the shelter. And I'm a, I'm a dog lover and this shelter has always been my dream. Like, my name is Pai and I am actually... Um, the 100% committed volunteer for the Potion Project of Malu and I'm very honored to be a part of this. I'm also working and I have a family business. We own Bacolod Sticker House. Yes, we own, oh, yeah. okay. our business is Bacolod Sticker House and I would want to spend time with this uh, Aspin Dogs and we call it Asung Pinoy. We changed the Askal into yeah. Aspin Dog. <laughs> this was uh, initiated and changed by Ai Ai Gamboa. Because she, uh, uh, some care, some care rescue animal uh, group. Because they don't want, we, we don't want to use the name Ascal yeah. anymore. Because when you say Ascal, it's like Asong no value Pinoy. at all. Yes. Do wala bala importante ang mga ido. But when we say Asong Pinoy, it's like uh, we want to give them uh, a better life yeah. and value and care for them. So it's changing the mindset of our society and our community. <laughs> okay, so um, can you give me a brief description of um, Passion Project and what it's about? Okay, so basically, Potion Project started just last Saturday. So, very, very fresh. It all started when Manong Jen. Manong Jen is my family friend. Mm -hmm. She's basically the owner of this farm, of this whole four hectare farm. Initially, we partnered together because we wanted to put up an Airbnb business here at the farm, put up some tents. Um, but then, last Saturday, Manong Jen saw um, a video post which was posted in one of the dog groups. Um, um, she was like, she tagged me. And then she said like, are you okay with rescuing the dogs? Yeah. And then I said, yes, yes. And then she said, coordinate with Spy. And then I told her, I actually know Tita Spy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Connection. what a coincidence. I was here during that day mm -hmm. when, when she commented on the video. She knew that I've always wanted a shelter for dogs too. So when she told me that if I was okay with it, of course I said yes, yeah, <laughs> without yes. second thoughts. Would... She gave me the number of Shara and then I called her and then I asked her. So um, yeah, we were the ones who commented on the post, like we're interested to to rescue the dogs from the pound who were about to, about to be killed. Yeah. yeah. 
So when I called her and then I asked her, so how many dogs are there? And then she said, she said 50. Oh my gosh. So it yeah. was overwhelming. 50 dogs. 50 50 dogs. dogs about to it kill. was overwhelming. And but we knew that it was a big responsibility, but no second thought. And I came up with a with a name, name. Potion Project, because again I thought this is <laughs> this is a passion, um, and this I wanted to make people realize that this shelter that we have is not just for us. Yeah. It's not just for the people who've helped started yep. this shelter, but it's for everyone who's very passionate with dogs as well. Yes. Correct. It's so inspiring. Uh, um, you had the guts to actually push through with this because I was actually one of the people who just shared, shared the post, yeah. but oh, I didn't nice. know what to do. Yeah. So like seeing na ano seeing on Facebook na oh my god gin adopt yeah, nila ang mga dogs as in like do ka thank you Lord for yeah. these people na nag exist. Yeah. So how many dogs do you currently have here? Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, more than 30 dogs around 40 and tomorrow we'll be rescuing another batch 27, 27 dogs. dogs. Yeah. Yes. yeah. We right. are really encouraging individual yes. adoption and then we'll just take the rest what's yeah. left. What's uh, left of it? Yeah. As much as possible, we really want to rehabilitate the dog. We really want to restore their health before yeah. they're up for adoption. Because yeah. admit it or not, even with breed dogs, people are very choosy. Correct. How much more with the Aspen dogs? Yes, correct. So, of course, we don't want our rescue dogs to get adopted and eventually just be caged. Yeah. Because, of course, you, of course, you know how people would treat dogs like them. Yeah, mm -hmm. they just put Who are malnourished, yeah. dogs who... Well, so probably be under the state of trauma, so they can't go near the dog. So it's useless when yeah. you get these dogs adopted. So we really want to rehabilitate the dogs, shower them with love, and hopefully help the dogs come out of their shell, so yeah. that when they get adopted, the people will really realize the value of of the of Filipino the dogs. Of the yeah. dog. But um, as of now, uh, we know that you have so many plans that need to be done. So. What can other the people who are watching this? What can they do to help you out? Because oh, the, just the two of you and the few people who are yeah. helping you, um, we know that you need so much more <laughs> than yeah, that. So do. can can yeah. you tell them what they need to do so they can help you out as well? Yeah. So first and foremost, of course, we really wanna thank yes. all those who reached out to us. Exactly. Uh, this is gonna be a permanent shelter and everything's yeah. gonna be ongoing. So you really need benefactors because Correct. donations alone can't sustain the shelter. So of course we would welcome food donations, we would welcome vitamins, ple pledges for yeah. vitamins, everything. all dog, dog supplies. So we're really yep. calling out also to um, veterinarians who yes. can offer their services. services yeah. um, People from all walks of life in different industries are welcome here to share their talents and their resources. We have so many plans. So again, everyone's talents, resources, so all kinds of help. Welcome. They're all welcome yes. here. So you're all welcome. Yes, you're all welcome. So um, how can people find the place? Uh, can you tell them the address or mm -hmm. how they can very, get here? Very, very easy. Yeah, it's very <laughs> easy. Just the major landmark is Victoria's Ice Plant. So it's just along the main road. So you go um, the street. Across you go to the street the across plant. the ice plant. So go straight ahead till the dead end, and then, and you then turn, right. turn right. And then the first gate on your left will be the farm. Yes. And so we are inviting everyone to come over and send as much help as you can yes. because we would really appreciate it, especially the dogs. So yes. thank you, thank you so much. You're very much welcome. Thank, thank you, thank you for yeah, having you us. can find us on Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. The group page is Potion Project and we're also on Instagram, Instagram. right now. Same Potion Project. For those who wanna donate, you can donate in cash. Mm -hmm. Um Incurry. through PayPal, it's Potion Project yes. at gmail.com. Or you can reach out to any one of us from the group page and the Instagram page. And then kind. Um, just message us as well because there are so many friends from Bacolod who are willing to accept your donations and bring it here. Yes. Yay! Thank you. Thank, so thank you. you. See you guys soon. Uh, yes, see you here. <laughs> <I have> a shelter. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay.